point. Need something for a special occasion? The diner does catering. The diner offers large quantities of some of the most delicious food items, including whole pies and cakes, baked fresh daily by our pastry chef. The diner does catering. Meatloaf, potato salad, green beans, coleslaw, cornbread, homemade rolls, and much more. Call the diner today for all the details. Jacksboro Middle School was at home against Rutledge, and the Owls were on the road at Soldiers Memorial. Okay, now we got good news and we got bad news. Which one do you want first? How about the bad news? Jack Spurl Middle School was supposed to play Rutledge, but they canceled out, so our JV Eagles played Cumberland Gap Middle School to a 14 14 tie. Now that's not the bad news. The bad news is the Hall's Red Devils came up to play the undefeated Eagles of Jack Spurl Middle School and walked out of there with a 34 24 win. It seemed we had control of this game at the 3.55 mark of the second quarter as Elijah Phillips intercepted a house pass and ran it back for about 60 yards to go ahead 12-7. But on the ensuing kickoff, the Red Devils ran the old Music City Miracle and caught the Eagles special teams asleep and scored to go ahead 15-12. They scored again as the horn sounded at the half and the scoreboard read Halls 21, Eagles 12. Coming out of the locker room, the Red Devils kept the trickery up as they scored another touchdown on a tailback option pass to add to their lead, 28-12. David Whaley got into the act for the Eagles. He caught a touchdown pass from Shane Bowman from about four yards out, but Halls answered that one with a score of their own. The final came later on as Halls won, 34-24. Now that's the bad news. Now for the good news. The Owls and Chris Honeycutt kept their winning streak alive, winning over Soldiers Memorial 28-8. It was the Zach Rutherford to 